Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, kind of feel weird making content right now because the world sucks. Um, but God is still good. Life is hard. God is good. And Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. I'm gonna keep going. I'm actually gonna do a couple of things. I'm going to do like a little bit of a. Um, unboxing kind of situation um but I also just want to talk to you guys about what's on my heart what's on my mind um just kind of get you guys feedback about how highly and humbly can participate um effectively <laughs> So I've been following this influencer, um, teacher, blogger kind of situation on Instagram. Her name is Felicia Meisenheimer. And before everything started, I had ordered um, her book and a couple of things from her website. So I'm going to open up those things. And I also ordered some dipping powders from Rossi. Um, so we're going to go through that while I talk. Um, I'm actually really good with shouting Felicia out because um, she's she's not only like she's biblically sound and she's like she's really dedicated to teaching um women about god and about his word and about his will and how to defend god's word or and how to understand god's word um she's also she's not quiet about where she stands about social issues and um she's like made it very clear that she's also like an ally um of the black community and i'm that super appreciative of that because i know that especially um in christendom a lot of the faces that we see the most are white faces and she used her platform to be able to educate I, you know her following and I, I appreciate that um so i'm reading her book stop calling me beautiful um and i bought like i said i bought this stuff before everything happened um i'm also looking to support some black businesses so it was like right these last these last couple um i'm taking off the uv gel from the poly gel set i've been playing around with different uv colors um and i wanted to be able to play around with the rossi colors so i'm going to be taking off these are this is uv gel and so from a previous set so i'm going to be taking these colors off and like playing with some of the rossi colors and just a set to see how that goes um but yeah i want to do this i want to do this kind of haul situation for black businesses so if you know any black businesses that you want to see reviews of, please go ahead and leave their business website or Instagram handles in the um, comments so that I can get to that. So I bought this t-shirt from her store. Every woman is a theologian. It says student of the, it says theologian. It says student of the heart of God. So I support it. Um, also have, I think this is a hat. Yeah, this is a hat. It says theologian. And again, I'm a fan. Let me see. It's like trying not to, oh, I can make it bigger. Also just trying to keep my um, my little foil situation on. Obviously you can't, can only wear this when my hair is flat. I like it. Here for it. Um, so that's that. Um, next we're gonna go through the Rossi stuff. I'm about to take this off. Um, it's just like a white with um, nail polish removal on it. This is the Rossi packaging. I'm gonna show you guys my address. Um, obviously not impressed. Yeah, bigger brand than Felicia. So I understand like she's like 
using like a mom and pop kind of situation. But also thinking, where did this come from? Who says this came from Texas? But also has global postage on it. So I'm not entirely sure where this came from. So what I was thinking about doing for the Highly and Humbly brand was first um, dedicating all of the Faith Over Fair apparel um, to the cause. So if you buy anything from the Highly and Humbly shop with the Faith Over Fair design, 100% of those proceeds will go to a organization dedicated to helping um, progress um, the Black Lives Matter movement. And so I actually want to do it kind of like a week by week basis. Um, but I will not be announcing the, I will announce the list of organizations that I'm going to be choosing from, but every week it'll be a different organization kind of situation. Because the goal again is to be able to have the most impact. And so I want to make sure also that I'm doing my due diligence and even picking the charities I would like to contribute to to see like who is the most effective and where is the most effective place to put um, my brand's name and money behind. And so this package is very difficult to open. Oh. There we go. So this first little box looks like this. And it has three of the powders in it. It has the powders come in this little box. It doesn't say the name of the color of the box, but it has, I guess, like, I'm guessing that this is the color, maybe? Nope, that's not what that is. So this says cappuccino. So the name of it is on the bottom. I'm still learning what my camera is on here. And so this is what it looks like. Uh oh. We also have margarita. So it looks like, pay no attention to my nails, I'm still learning how to do them. Um, see that color? Do you guys want to, can we open it? Okay, so it has this protective layering on it. I guess I'll show you guys what it looks like when I open it. When I'm actually doing my nails. And we have this is a glitter called Celebration. So I also think what's also something that I think is important is that when stuff like this happens, we're like, we are like more inclined or more inspired to shop black owned businesses and to support black businesses. Uh, and I think that that's amazing. I, I, I wish that it didn't only happen or it didn't so publicly happen in times of like duress. Like it's kind of like literally like they're pulling our arm. And so like we feel like the best course of action is to kind of fight back in, these, in the way we've been fighting back. And just reminds us that like these big names, these big corporations, they have power because we give it to them. And it's like moments like these are like, oh, where can we redirect our funds so that we are more effective as a body? And, but I also want to keep that same energy because after the protests are over, after the police are convicted, um, we have this momentum. What are, what are we going to do to make sure we maintain this energy? 
Um, and so that's important to me that we figure out how to do that. So in this box, again, very not, it's a nondescript box. That's what it looks like. So came in a little bubble for wrap. I have three more of these here and I kind of feel like we're about to see. So there are three more of these colors here. It also comes with a nail handbook for application and removal. Um, and a coupon code for it to not lose off your next purchase. Let's see, we have, I feel like I'm not really high energy this episode, but it's because life is hard, but God is good. And so we have Pink Mood, looks like this. <laughs> so I'm going to take the Neville Ush off and I'm going to file it down and kind of give myself like a fill-in kind of situation to try to strengthen the nail. Um, and instead of using the UV gel, I'm going to use th some of the powders. This is Chocolate Fudge. And it's summertime. This looks like a little like glittery. That's what it looks like. This box comes with the primer, base coat, activator, top coat, and brush saver. It has four chic, chic and some reshades to mix and match. Um, DIY manicure, non-toxic, quick and easy, no UV LED lamp needed, calcium and vitamin E fortified, and up to 21 days of wear. So like, if I decided to take off all of these, um, I could also just wear the um, the dipping powder. So that was also like, a, um... oh, so there's, there are, so I bought one, two, three, four, five, six of these plus Four other ones. So there are four more powders in here, guys. So I'm kind of impressed with myself. It had to be a good deal. So I have 10. I have 10 powders to choose from. Okay, so here we go. And those six plus these four. So we have, and they're pretty bright colors too. This nail, this thumbnail is stressing me out. It really feels like it's gonna come off and I don't want it to break off. This is Sunseeker. Flamingo. South Beach. It also comes with these. Again, the primer, the base coat, the activator, the top coat, and the brush saver. I'm not entirely sure what a brush brush saver is, but Rossi Glam Powder is the secret to achieve a professional manicure at home. Easy to apply, long lasting, and odorless. Rossi Glam Powder is the best acrylic alternative that offers high shine and lasts up to 40, 21 days without the need to light cure. So it's a five step system, primer, brush saver, not so they weren't stored in order. So I'm taking them out in the order that they're in the box. Activator, top coat. base coat so i don't know if that wasn't put in there in the right order because okay I so i took off the poly gel from this nail and i like fixed it and i am going to brush off I 
access. That's what it looks like. And so usually at this point when I do the project, like, so what I, I don't know if I told you guys this already, but I did this over at my parents' house with my little sister. And what we did was I put tips on and then molded the poly gel over my tips. Um, and so I like that style a lot better. And so usually what I've been doing is I've been like trying out the different like color gels as I've been filing off the nail polish and filing down the poly gel and kind of giving like my signing the poly gel or like reapplying the poly gel and then doing the UV gel over it. Um, so usually at this point I will put um, the base coat back on and I will put the UV coat on, but because we're doing the powder, um, I think I'm gonna do like a random obnoxious color. So we're gonna do this flamingo situation. So the thing with the powder, the thing that attracted me about the powder is that uh, I don't have to use uv light and so that's helpful um i mean it's gonna it's the but the downside is i guess i'll need to let things dry in between and so we'll see what it looks like i read the instructions but i think i do have to look at them again then i used a primer first seven steps so i cleaned it my cuticle work is done because my nails are already done um, I filed it, prepped and primed, so I'll clean up the dust and I'll wipe my nails off. I'm gonna get my kabuki brush back out too. And I'm just gonna make sure that, you know, it's all clean. And then it says to prep and prime, so clean off the dust and wipe down your nails with cotton balls. It says to wipe down my nails with alcohol, which is what I did, did but if you didn't have the alcohol, you can use the primer and it's alcohol, All right? And now what I'm supposed to do, apply a thin even layer of the Glam Powder Base Coat. This one, it's cool that they're also color coded. Thin, even, this doesn't look like anything is happening. Yes, because that's the activator. Mm -hmm. I'm so smart. Base coat, that one. Again, cool, that is uh, color coded. Okay. So you want to apply a thin. Even so, it's, I'm not gonna dip my brush in this again. I'm just gonna go over it one time. Let's do it in a hairline's length away from your nail bed. So I apply the primer, and then you're supposed to quickly dip the powder at a 45 degree angle. So should I be? Oh. Better prepare for that. 45 degree angle. So I'm just gonna mm -mm. spilled a little bit of it. It says to get the excess off with the kabuki brush. and didn't take the first time. <laughs> so we're gonna try it again. Uh, we're gonna take the base coat and you're supposed to do it as many times until you get the desired effect anyway. So that's good. So we're gonna try it again. Then even layer. And maybe also I just didn't move fast enough. So we want to find out. And dip it in. And yeah, I didn't move fast enough the first time because that time it took. So we're going to take off the excess with the kabuki brush. And I feel like it could be, I could have, I think I'm gonna do another two coats, but I like it so far. It's very bright, it's very bright, bright. And very, it's so much easier than the UV gel because I don't have to, like I'm doing my right hand right now, obviously with my left hand. Easier to dip my finger than it is to try to shape and like 
paint my nail properly. So this appeals to like the lazy person in me, I guess. So that's two coats so far. Three if you count the, the failed attempt. That's two. And we're gonna do, oh, I could do one more. So I can see all the gaps in it. So I can see, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a little, little, little baby gaps in there that I kind of want to feel, try to fill before I go over and try to file it. And this is the last step. Now I was supposed to do a 45 degree angle, I did not. So that also could attest to the, um, what is it called? The unevenness of it. But I also think that it's as thick as I need it to be because I'm going to have to do some filing. So we're going to brush the excess off. Okay, close the powder. So you repeat step once you get the look you want, apply a layer of the glam powder activator and let it dry for about a minute. And then when it's completely dry, you can file and shape your nail before buffing the nail surface. So we're going to put the activator on it before we buff it. Mm -mm. Okay. Spilled a little bit of it. So we're going to put that. I don't know if I'm putting too much. It doesn't say how much to put, but I just needed it to look like it was wet. So now, even after putting the activator on it, um, I obviously put too much of the powder too close to my cuticle. And so I'm wondering if that's gonna affect the quality of the nail um because i i feel it kind of shifting even now and so i don't want to mess with it too much i want to wait till it's like dry enough to be able to like buff it out like with the um nail file that's what i'm hoping i can be able to do but it's just supposed to give it like a minute so i'll give it a minute because after it dries um we can file and shape it up before buffing the nail surface and then you wash your hands and wipe with alcohol to get rid of the powder and then apply another coat of the activator and let it dry. So we're going to really just trying to file off the parts that I messed up on. Mm -hmm. Um, so that the nail doesn't come off. Because it doesn't feel sturdy, it feels like it can come off. So, I'm trying to fix that. I mean, it feels sturdy. It could be sturdier. Let's see how it does in a couple of days. Okay. I'm just trying to get it off my cuticle as much as possible. Because I know that's gonna like mess with the aesthetic. And so I filed it too short on my cuticle a little bit. You can see it right there. Well, let's see what happens. Um, more activator. that dry what I'm finishing it so next that's dry and now time to put the top coat so two layers of top coat and then we're done and I'm not doing any other nails for you guys today I'm done for the day so 
So right off the back, I can tell that I didn't file. I don't think I filed it well enough. It doesn't feel, oh, oh. It doesn't feel as sturdy as I want it to feel. But I think that's on me because of how I applied it. But that's the first top layer of top coat. And I'll apply a second layer. This will take up to two minutes to, um, to dry. I'll give it up to two minutes. And then after that, I'm done. Like, I can't do anything else today. Brush is like super stiff. Super stiff. I don't know what that's about. That's weird. So that's weird, but I'm gonna apply the top coat and Look like. Well done.